Amen. Well, before I proceed this morning, I just want to say a big thank you to Pastor and Pastor Mrs. Sanusi um, for this wonderful privilege. Mom, Mommy, and Daddy, I do not take it for granted. Thank you so much. It means a lot to me. God bless you for us. And Pastor Boma, thank you for everything. Thank you for being such an amazing leader. I appreciate you. God bless you, ma'am. Um, this morning, I'm going to be talking about my book, The Shift. Please, can you help me with my slide, please? Thank you. The Shift. Um, it all started with just a vision on the 6th of July, 2018. And shortly after that, my first book, titled Greatness is in You, became a dream come true. And it didn't just stop there. Here I am today with a second book titled The Shift. A shift is a change. It is a move. Wherever there is a shift, there is a change. This change has a tremendous impact on our individual lives, either on the positive or on the negative. And the truth is that change is absolutely inevitable. It is said that only constant faith in life is change. However, this type of change acts as a force that provokes your creative potentials. Many of us have gone through so many shifts in our lives. It's not about the shift. It's all about how we managed, overcame, and embraced the shifts. Change is something we tend to fear and become anxious about because we feel we are not in control of it. The good news is that God has a plan for our lives, and that includes a hope and a future. And we just have to learn to trust God and allow the change to grow us. Next slide, please. Inside the book, we have different outlines that talks about embracing your season of change, believing in your creative capacity, running the race that's set before you, use failure to your own advantage, leverage on those failure and build a productive life for yourself. Make quiet time a habit. Let God validate you. Learn from the hands. Speak up. You cannot shortchange yourself simply because you are worried about what others will think of you. No, you can't. And the last one is cultivate a heart of gratitude. Next slide, please. Thank you. When it comes to the shift, the kind of mindset you have is very, very important. It is of paramount importance. What kind of mindset do you have? Is it a growth mindset or a fixed mindset? That is also very key when it comes to the shift. You will find all this inside a book. Next slide, please. Key points. I have several key points listed here, and I'm going to be brief about them. Thank you. A time of change is usually a time for growth. The way we respond to a change, we ultimately determine the trajectory of our lives. When you feel a shift in your life, business goes. Take an analytical notice of it and embrace it. Pardon me. God has a plan for your life. God's plan is a solid plan to give you a hope and a future. God created you for a purpose. God is a God of purpose. Everything he created was on point. Everything he created was on point or is on point and on target to fulfill a specific purpose. Being open to change means you are constantly and consistently working on improving your old self and ready for the newness that's coming with it. There is the capacity for creative in creativity inside of you. Everything you need to blossom has been deposited inside of you. You can literally do the impossible despite any circumstances that may come your way. Only if you do it, if you believe in it. Never ever doubt yourself. Always believe you can. You must never place a limit on yourself and your abilities. Next slide, please. Thank you. Always realize that you need the help of God. You cannot run the race of life in the energy of flesh. You need the God factor in everything you do, in all spheres of your life. You will have to acknowledge your need for his help and call upon him to help you maximize your creative potentials that he has deposited inside of you. Leverage on failure to build yourself up. Be attentive to the lessons it taught you or it's teaching you and use them to build a strong foundation for your next level. Remember, quitters never win and winners never quit. And until you quit, you are not a failure. Failure is not the end of story, only an opportunity for a new beginning. Quiet time gives you more clarity on your vision and the blueprint on the mission God assigned you. It's also a time of gaining insight and a deeper level of understanding. When you are clear about your purpose, you not only progress with unquestionable confidence, but you also activate your own God-given creativity. You must know exactly where you are going and an idea of how to get there. Please get the book. Next slide, please. 
the book. The shift is here to help you understand more and also help you to navigate through change easily. And I'm here to share with you that making a shift in our individual lives is absolutely possible. In this book, you will discover the combination factors that will help you or that must help you or that must be in place to activate your creative mind towards maximizing the season of your change effectively and productively. And in this book, you will also learn the principles that will position you for excellence and relevance despite any change that may take place now or in the near future. Because change is inevitable and there will always be a shit, whether we like it or not. The book is well written for easy understanding and I strongly believe that if you read through it, you will be blessed. Don't just read a part of it, read everything. And I look forward to your reviews on the book. Next slide, please. And you can find the book available on Amazon, Barnes and Noble, and Kindle. Next slide, please. Thank you. In conclusion, you were made for more. I encourage you today to find that flame that God has deposited inside of you. Find it. Find it until it burns brightly. Never ever give up on the greatness for which you were created. Never try to hide your uniqueness. Never feel you cannot do what you believe you were made to do. Oh yes, you can. All you need is a shift. And when it comes, please do embrace it. Once again, thank you.